Hello everyone. In this video, I will show you what I bought from PandaBuy. Because PandaBuy is a famous website for replica sneaker or replica some other kind of clothes or pants or accessories. Uh, I bought a pair Nike Air Force One Louis Vuitton shoes from there and I think it's okay because the quality looks very nice. For this price, for what I pay, it's just $160. And for this kind of shoes, I think it's good because if it's authentic, the price would be like several thousand dollars. I cannot offer. So let me show you. This is a box. You can see the box looks terrible, huh? And if it's authentic, it would not be just like this paper box. It would be like a case, a very nice case, orange color, uh, made by some kind of leather. Um, but that's very expensive. So I can't buy that. I just buy this because I don't wear the case. So I don't care how the box is. And I think this box is fine. You can see on the top of this box, there are some print of the Louis Vuitton pattern. See? Look at the pattern. It's Louis Vuitton pattern. Mm, it's okay. Okay, let's look at the shoe. Uh, open the box. There is a big swoosh inside <coughs> this box. It's just uh, totally different from the authentic one. The authentic one doesn't have this. Okay, let's see the shoe. Let's see the shoe. Look nice? I think so. Okay, and let me show this. See, the shape looks very close to the authentic one, very close, but just this material, you can feel it's rough. If it's authentic, the material would look very, very nice, high quality, no flaws, no deficiency, no bad part. But for this one, you can see some obviously deficiency. Uh, you can see the sole material, the rubber. Not that soft. When you use your nail to press it, not that soft. If it's authentic, it's either it's easier to get get done. It will get done, but this replica doesn't do that. And you can see these materials are not that nice, not at all. And the cutting of the leather looks not very smooth. It's rougher, see? This part, the cutting, not very, very smooth. Mm -hmm. And here it has a, a little tip there. A little bit part came out. See, if it's authentic, it won't have that. And the printing <coughs> of the pattern also if you look at it clearly, very closely, very carefully, it's not that clear. It's a little bit rougher. Obviously not clearly enough. You can see that. 
And also, also there, this, this one, this stuff, it has Chinese print on it. So that's why it's not authentic. If it's authentic, it doesn't have this. See. And this cloth inside the cloth, you can see the quality doesn't look that nice. It's rough. Okay, let's see the back. It's more obviously the, con the contour is not that smooth, not that neat. See the distance. Not always the same, see? This part and this part, the distance between each other are not always the same. If it's authentic, it will be always the same. So, and this contour, not straight. That's why it's a replica. But for a replica for $160, I think it's okay. And the printing here says Louis Vuitton Paris. This printing is okay, but just this leather, the two pieces of leather, distance between them shows its replica, obviously. See, let's see the button. It's okay, right? The shape, the pattern, just okay. Mm. Oh, see here, the printing has deficiency. There is a little spot, doesn't get paint, print. Doesn't get the paint, see. Little hero. Okay, and the, this side, see this side, the printing not very good. You can see some part lose the printing. It's lose the printing. See, here it's rough. In this spot, very rough. The other places just looks okay. <coughs> oh, I'm sorry. I just get cold. <coughs> and in this part, you can see here is a little, little deficiency. The color doesn't cover where it should cover in this spot. See, a little bit. Why authentic one is so good? Because every detail they did very well. No deficiency at all. And that's hard to do. That's why it's so expensive. But for everyday wearing, we don't need it to be like that. So I just buy a replica. Okay. Mm -hmm. And see the lace. Very slide. When you touch it, you feel it's a slide. If it's authentic, it's made by total cotton, so you don't feel that slide. Not that much smooth. It's just feel soft cotton. It's feeling like it's like that. Mm -hmm. So the lace also different from the authentic one. See, then we see the tongue. Uh oh, look at the printing here. There are little holes there, which is empty, which is not covered by this pin. See? See? Louis with an air. Uh, little holes there. See? Several little holes. See? That's why, that's why. Okay, let me show you more 
and C's is Tom. It's Tom. Let's see. The printing here for the L LV looks rough. Not that clearly. Let's see. So the details not as good as the authentic one. And the inside. Let me show you. See. Okay, then let's see the insole. Uh, it's made by some kind of form and it's very thin see very thin very thin see how thin it is if it's authentic it would be thicker it would be thicker like, and this one is very thin see Okay. And the print on this insole, LV and Nike swoosh, you can see the printing, it's not straight, see, the position is not right. If it's authentic one, it should be just in the center, but this one is not. So, it has a lot deficiency, see. A lot of them, but for this price, it's okay. See, okay, and let's check the stitch inside. Inside the stitch, did you see the stitch? Did you see the stitch? Oh. The stitch it looks very short. If it's authentic, it would be longer, you know, would be longer. So, mm -hmm. but anyway, I love this shoe. I'll collect it. It's too big for me. I just on purpose to buy this size because I don't wear them. I just collect them. It's a nice shoe. And let's check the other one. Shape, the whole shape is good. But the toe box looks a little bit square. If it's authentic, it won't be square. It would be totally round. The contour would be very nice. And that's harder to do. That's why that shoe is in high price. See, and the printing here is rougher than the authentic one also. See, well, you can see here, the printing is rough. So, because it's hard to make it very, very clear. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And here, the printing should be brown, but uh, it doesn't print it to be totally brown. It has an empty spot. So, it's replica. Mm. And check the back. Awesome. This contour in this part, not very straight. This is lower than this side, see. So, 
and this part of leather doesn't cover this part of leather very straight because you can see the distance between each other the contour not always the same mm. so mm. and see there is this LV mark like this mm -hmm. it looks okay but i believe if it's authentic this stuff's quality would be a lot nicer i guarantee it will be this when you when you look at it you can feel the quality if it's authentic the quality would be very nice even in the very little detail Let's see Let's see It's a pretty shoe anyway. Do you want to wear it? Do you want to wear it? See. I love this shoe. I love it. See the bottom of the sole. Also very nice. Mm. And also, let's check the insole. The printing not in the third, not in the third center place. And the cloth quality not very good. And this form is too thin. The authentic one's form is thicker and the color not bright enough as the authentic one. The authentic one's color of the cloth would be more orange and this, this is not. And let's check the stick, stitch. It's about the same as the other one. It's red. So, for the most quality, I can say this shoe is nice. Because when you wear this shoe, people actually doesn't care if it's authentic. People may say, oh, you're very rich if you wear a pair of authentic one. Because huh? if this one is authentic, the price would be equal a single house. 